this is not my real face. What's up, dude? Oh my god, my chin is so small right now. This is very strange. This is the face I've sculpted on the Korean selfie app Snow, which has 200 million users worldwide. Selfies are actually changing how we see ourselves and what we see as beautiful. Eye surgery is the most popular one. I always do this in pictures or do this. I always use filters and Photoshop. I cannot post one picture without any filter. But at what point do we decide to make our selfies a reality with plastic surgery? And what is the impact? It's unhealthy, physically unhealthy. And plastic surgery threatens sometimes your life. In this episode of Untold America, I'm looking at why Americans are traveling to South Korea for plastic surgery, and how an American doctor is partly responsible for Korea's massive industry. This is where our patients come to recover. So if you can see a little bit beyond here, this is where we have our hospital beds. This is Allison. She works at JK Plastic Surgery here in Seoul. She's also American. What percentage of people are coming from foreign countries at the clinic? It's well over half. So it's even up to 80% is our foreign clients. Up to 80%. Korea is now known for plastic surgery and with K-pop and with dramas and everything, people really like that aesthetic. So people are coming to Korea to get plastic surgery. As many as one in three Korean women under 30 have had plastic surgery. And now Korea is a popular destination for all-inclusive plastic surgery retreats, especially for foreigners. They gain what they want. If they want bigger eye, then we can make them a bigger eye. How have you seen K-pop affect beauty standards? 그 실제로 어, 그 셀럽들의 사진을 가지고 와서 이 사람 얼굴처럼 변하고 싶다고 말하는 경우도 있기도 하고요. Plastic surgery among K-pop groups has been an open secret for a while. But now, groups like Six Bomb are publicly celebrating their plastic surgery in music videos. Six Bomb. K-pop stars are even doing commercials for their favorite clinic. 안녕하세요, 광입니다. 제가 대한민국 대표 성형외과 코리아 성형외과의 광고 모델이 되었습니다. So here is where we have a CT scan and X-ray as well. So this is, uh, for example, for facial bone contouring, we need to take scans and make sure that we take off uh, the safe amount of bone rather than just blindly make it as small as possible. Allison is talking about V-line jaw surgery. You can get an idea of how this procedure changes the shape of your face in this Korean selfie app, Snow. So we go into beauty and there's a sculpt option. Here we go. There are actually a lot of things you can do to your jawline, but in real life, the surgery is not so easy. It involves sawing or breaking your jaw. Um, so this is a pretty intense surgery procedure. How has the culture of selfie apps like Snow affected plastic surgery demands? Historically, the most popular surgery in Korea has been double eyelid surgery. It was actually popularized after the Korean War by an American surgeon stationed with the U.S. Marines. He mostly worked on children with cleft palates, but also performed the double eyelid surgery. His first patient was a Korean translator who wanted to look more trustworthy to other Americans. Dr. Millard is largely credited with starting the plastic surgery industry in South Korea. Today, it's Americans seeking out Korean plastic surgeons for their expertise. Jenny is an American vlogger who traveled to Korea for V-line surgery. She was sponsored by a clinic in Seoul and received a discount on her procedures. Hi. We caught up over video chat. So when I was in middle school or early high school, you know how the kids are, they take pictures of themselves, you know, like selfies. When I looked at those selfies, I couldn't stand how my nose looked. So I just kept thinking like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. I actually went to my parents and I wanted them 
to help me get surgery for my nose at 14 years old, yes. Learning the Korean culture and from starting from K-pop, I was able to find plastic surgery and how good it was in Korea versus here. And I, I was able to discover like, oh, you can actually do your jaw and shave it. Like, wow. So that was a new plan for me. Jenny vlogs her entire surgery experience in Korea, from her consultation to recovery. I can't wash my face or take a shower for like seven days. So then I can take this off too. I have to wear this for three months. Oh God. The plastic surgery industry is huge. As a feminist, I am ashamed of that because the society is forcing women to look perfect. This is Summer. She's part of Escape the Corset, a movement against Korea's pop beauty standards, including the plastic surgery industry. So women are refusing to keep their long hair, to wear makeup, wear feminine clothes, also high heels, all those kind of things. We call it corsets. It's dangerous to be a feminist in Korea because we literally get punched in, in the streets. Because of such threats of violence, Summer asks us not to use her real name. I think the beauty standard is the result of patriarchy and the capitalism. Patriarchy creates the standards, the industries create stuff to give women an illusion that they can achieve this standard. The medical industry is taking benefit out of that. You can never be perfect no matter what you do, how much plastic surgery you apply. Today is one month post-operation. Yeah, I can 100% say I got body dysmorphia. Plastic surgery, it's not gonna fix everything. It's just gonna fix you for a short amount of time. It's a temporary fix. Like, I'm already finding more things that's wrong with me. I think that you can see a little bit of fat here after surgery. Whenever I take pictures now, it's like, you can definitely see this a lot more than before when I had surgery. Jenny is planning to go back to Korea in a few months to have liposuction on her neck and a cheek reduction. Every time I save money, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Every time I look in the mirror, Every time I open up that face tune up, there it is. I do feel a lot happier now though. It's, it's like three less things that I have to worry about. The same clinic that had given her a heavily discounted rate has offered to give her another deal. But she's still coping with nerve damage from her V-line jaw surgery. I still have a numbness, like right, right here and here. When I'm like scrubbing my lips, I cannot feel this. So sometimes I scrub a little too hard and it starts bleeding. That's kind of first. And when I'm putting on lip balm, I can't feel that. It's okay. It's just minimum. I can live with it. So it's okay. Plastic surgery mishaps in Korea are hard to track. But from 2008 to 2012, the number of patients seeking compensation for botched procedures tripled. Are you worried about plastic surgery's effects on young women's sense of self or their mental health or how they can feel about their body image? 저는 그렇게 생각하진 않고요. 오히려 반대로 그 그런 거에 대한 컴플렉스나 이런 게 있다면은 수술을 통해서 좋아질 수 있는 점이 많다고 생각해요. Are you worried about things like K-pop or K-beauty exporting these standards globally? Yes, so much. I'm so worried about the K-pop industry becoming so huge. They sing like young girls, they act like young girls. The girl groups, they don't look like adult women. The power that you get from beauty, that disappears as soon as you remove your makeup or as soon as you get old and wrinkly. That's not power. It doesn't last. I'll take a picture. That's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Hey, thanks for watching. Have you ever felt pressure to change the way you look? Talk to us in the comments below, and if you want more stories like this, please turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe.